go. We were gearing up for Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. I need to call you the, the female version of Steph Curry, or do I need to call Steph Curry the male version of Caitlin Clark? I mean, which one is it? Which one is it? Caitlin Clark. 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 Yo, what's good, fam? Today we're diving into some real talk about the WNBA and why Kaylin Clark is not only the biggest name in women's hoops, but why she should be the MVP this year. We're going to break down how the WNBA has fumbled the bag when it comes to marketing her and how Kaylin is bringing in the kind of attention to the league that it desperately needs and why sometimes sports awards aren't just about who's the best player. They're about business. Oh, and don't think I forgot about Asia Wilson. She's definitely out there doing her thing too. But this MVP conversation is deeper than just stats. Let's get into it. First off, let's keep it 100. Haley Clark is the future of women's basketball. Straight up, no denying it. He's pulling up from the logo like it's nothing, dropping dimes, and just playing with that killer instinct that draws you in. You know when she's on the court, you have to watch. The hype around Kaylin is real, and the WNBA needs to recognize that they have something special here. Kaylin's already doing what most players dream of. She's pulling in crazy numbers, not just on the court, but in TV ratings, social media buzz, and fan engagement. That's the kind of player you build a league around. The WNBA needs to put all their chips on the table for her because she's already bringing in a new wave of fans. She's got crossover appeal. And that's something the WNBA has been struggling with for years. But here's the thing. They aren't marketing her the way they should be. The WNBA has got to understand that Kaylin Clark isn't just another player. She's a game changer. Let's talk about the WNBA's marketing for a second. The NBA they know how to promote their stars. LeBron, Steph, KD, they're everywhere. They're not just players, brand. And the NBA pushes them as such. The WNBA, they've got a lot of talented players. They're not putting in the same effort to make them household names. That's where they're dropping the ball with Kaylin Clark. You've got a player like Kaylin who's already the talk of social media, who's got the superstar energy, and you're not putting her front and center in every commercial, every highlight reel, every campaign. Come on, WNBA. This is a no-brainer. Kaylin should be everywhere because she's the one who can get people talking about the WNBA in a way they haven't before. The league has a unique opportunity here and they need to start acting like it. All right, now let's get real for a minute. We can't talk about the MVP conversation without acknowledging Asia Wilson. Asia's absolutely killing it this season. She's dominating every aspect of the game. And if we're strictly talking basketball, she's probably the most deserving of the MVP award. Her stats are wild and she's been the backbone of her team. So I'm not here to take anything from Asia's greatness. She's been a beast. But here's where things get interesting. The MVP award isn't just about who had the best season. It's also a major marketing tool for the league. The NBA knows this better than anyone. Look at how they've used the MVP to push new narratives and elevate players' careers. Remember when Karl Malone won the MVP over Michael Jordan in 97? Or when Derrick Rose snagged it over LeBron in 2011? Even when Steve Nash won it over Kobe in 2006, the year Kobe was out here averaging 35 points a game and even dropped 81 in the game. In all those cases, the best player didn't necessarily win the MVP. The league used those moments to spread the love and create new stars. That's exactly what the WNBA needs to be thinking about right now. Yes, Asia is more deserving based on her season, but naming Kaylin Clark the MVP will send a message to the world. This is our future. This is the player who's going to take women's basketball to the next level. It's a business move, and sometimes business trumps stats. Now, I already know some of y'all are going to say giving Kaylin the MVP would be controversial. And you're right. It would be controversial. But here's the thing. Controversy is good for the league. When people are debating, arguing, and having heated discussions about your MVP pick, that's when you've got people invested. The NBA has thrived off this energy for years. The debates about whether Derrick Rose deserved the MVP over LeBron or whether Nash should have won over Kobe, 
These conversations had people talking about the league all season long. The WNBA could use a little bit of that. Giving Kalen the MVP would spark debates. Get people talking about the WNBA on every platform and draw in new viewers who want to see what all the hype is about. Controversy brings eyes, and eyes bring ratings. The WNBA needs to start embracing these moments instead of playing it safe. Speaking of missed opportunities, let's talk about how the WNBA and Team USA completely fumbled by not putting Kaitlyn Clark on the Olympic roster. Imagine Kaitlyn representing Team USA on the global stage. The exposure, the highlight, the international buzz would have been massive for the WNBA. People all around the world would have been introduced to Caitlyn, and by extension, the WNBA. That's free promotion right there, and they missed out on it. The Olympics is one of the biggest stages in all of sports, and putting Caitlyn out there could have been a game changer for the league. It's these kind of opportunities that the WNBA can't afford to let slip through their fingers if they want to grow and become more mainstream. Kaylin on the Olympic stage would have been a perfect way to introduce her to a global audience. And that would translate it into more attention and more fans for the league. Kaylin's rise to stardom is always inevitable. The way she plays, the swagger, everything she brings to the game. It's only a matter of time before she's the biggest name in women's basketball, if not already. And what's wild is that the hate she's gotten has only fueled her. People love to throw shade when someone's on the come up. But Caitlyn just uses it as motivation. Every time someone doubts her, she steps on the court and proves them wrong. The WNBA needs to understand this energy and ride with it. Caitlyn isn't just popular because she's good. She's popular because she's polarizing. She's got that it factor. And the league needs to embrace it. Make her the face of the WNBA. Give her the MVP. And let her carry the league into its next chapter. If the NBA plays this right, Kaylin could be the key to everything. Now let's go back to the idea that awards are more than just recognition. They're marketing tools. The NBA has mastered this art. They've used the MVP award to build narratives, create stars, and keep the league fresh. The WNBA has the same opportunity with Kaylin Clark. Sure, Asia Wilson might be more deserving based on stats alone, but naming Kaylin the MVP would be about more than this season. It would be about building for the future and sending a message to the world that Kaylin is the face of the WNBA. The MVP award is one of the best ways to boost a player's career and put them on a bigger stage. Kaylin winning MVP will elevate her status, in turn, elevate the WNBA. It's a smart business move, and the WNBA needs to start thinking about how to use these moments to grow the league. So where does all this leave us? The WNBA is sitting on the gold mine with Caitlin Clark, but they've got to stop playing it safe. Caitlin is already changing the game, and the league needs to market her like the superstar she is. Asia Wilson is a beast, no doubt, but sports are about more than just who had the best stats. It's about building for the future, and Caitlin is the future. Giving her the MVP might be controversial, but that's exactly what the WNBA needs. They need people talking. They need debate. They need to get fans invested. Kayla Clark is the key to taking the WNBA to the next level. And it's time for the league to embrace it. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think. Did Kayla Clark get the MVP? Or does Asia Wilson deserve it more? And what should the WNBA be doing to market their stars better? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. Let's keep the conversation going, people. Peace.